guys, so we're actually at this cabin, uh, Illinois. Little KOA cabin. And Bell's here. Madeline is here. Sophia did not make it on this trip. She's actually working at PetSmart. Um, She's taking care to, to and to, Yeah, the new cat, the brick of shawl we just got. Um, so we're actually going to get to the bounce pad. You know, it's like a trampoline in the ground. Pretty fun. I think, Kelly, There's a lot of little kids you can just make fall pad. over. It's really hilarious, really. <laughs> and a lot of times they cry, which is even more funnier. <laughs> and yeah, we're just getting ready to go. We'll get hopefully get a little bit of footage at the bounce pad. Bye, the lake is right there, over here. You know, pretty actually nice, pretty nice KOA actually. Bunch of people here. A lot more people than I thought. I don't know if you really can see up there's some water right there and there's like a bunch of stuff over there. So yeah, we got the new little trailer uh, back there, you know. All right, Annabella, crawl through. Come on, boy. <laughs> you suck at being a dog. You are a retard. No, you have to go through both of them. Yeah, I'm not. You have to go through both. I'm not paying you unless you go through both. Go through. There's no way. Guys, I kind of can't stop grab. All right, Emily, you're not getting. All right, guys. So here we are, at Illinois. We got Madeline here. We actually could not go on the bounce pad. Jumpy pad, as they call it. Because Madeline was the one who was too slow. She did not get ready quick enough, and they deflated it before we got here. Really, I actually saw them deflating it. Really, really unfortunate. But we about to go play basketball. You guys didn't actually know, I was an NBA prospect. Then I quit. Before I was before I quit, I was an NBA prospect. I don't know if there's actually basketballs here. Yes. Hey, Dad, what are you doing? I'm picking the lock on our trailer. Why? Because someone forgot the keys. I thought I told you to bring them. Oh! Oh! Well, I have, luckily your mother has bobby pins. So, that's my job, pick the lock. Okay. Oh, Lucy, what are you doing? Oh, I'm making Annabella. No, it's not coming out good on my... Oh! I can make it darker. No, it's because it's just weird because I'm videoing it, I think. Oh! Oh, oh wait, it's gonna... There, I came into... Oh, Love it! Mm -hmm. Super cool. Mm -hmm. Here's our little KOA cabin, our little home away from home. Worked out well last night. Yeah. Joey's in the bathroom. Madeline. I think she looks good. Bunks there for the kids. A little area for us. Very nice. Thank you, KOA. After leaving the KOA in Rock Island, Illinois, we made our way into Iowa. There we were going to see some fossils from the Devonian period at the Devonian Gorge. And here we are coming over where Coralville Lake flooded over the spillway in 1993. And this exposed fossils in the limestone bedrock from 375 million years ago. In 2008, there was another flood which exposed even more fossils. Here we are walking on the actual fossil beds and you can see above us the spillway where the water had flown over during the flood. Just kind of walking along Devonian Gorge. Who girls are looking. Madeline was looking in the ponds. It's not where the fossils are, but it's okay. More. Look, what's that? I do not know. Cool. Whoa, is that a turtle show? Hmm, no, it looks like almost like coral. More stuff here. What is massive shells over here? Yeah, ooh, some sea frond type deal. 
Mom, look. More stuff over here. I'm sure. This rock. I found. Over here. Oh. And then there's nothing on the other side. Oh, that's can cool. You, can you take all that? No, you're not. It's supposed to. This one. Like that. This is so cool. What is that? I do not know. I just kind of like to feel it all, you know? It's pretty groovy. Oh, there's another one. Wow, this one is really cool. Oh, there's like really latches and there's a bone. Next stop, we were heading towards the Oregon Trail and Register Cliffs area. Along the way, there are many ways to pass time. However, the kids and Lisa have figured out they can play games on their phones against each other somehow with the Bluetooth technology or something. Oh, Mom! You oh, she had jumped up on the stage! It's a blue toy <laughs> Okay, here we are, Oregon Trail Rust. I am super excited. I suspect nobody else is, but that's okay. Here we go, beautiful. Just in Wyoming. I don't know. Whoa. That's why I know this safe. Could there be a lot of pushing and shoving of stuff, huh? Better be careful before I fall. I'll bet you a thousand bucks they not make this up this. No, I bet someone had to be behind pushing, right? Uh, that would be tough. Or it's fake. <laughs> it's probably fake. Hundred percent, dude. Probably. You are. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, make it up here. Bro, the wagon still goes like this. So did the other go like right here on the side? Like where did it go? Like what? It doesn't make sense. Register Cliff is a sandstone cliff which is a key navigational landmark for emigrants heading west along the Platte River Valley. An estimated 500,000 emigrants used these trails from 1843 to 1869. Register Cliff is the easternmost of three prominent recording areas in Wyoming. Independence Rock and Names Hill are the other two. Oh, really? hard. I kicked some of it. It's like James rock hard, dude. I'm not kidding. Nash and Angie Nash. Guys, Nash. you can't really see anything. Oh, yeah, Jenny? I don't. Uh, I don't. Was that 1070 they were here? 1870? Oh, I don't want to video that. It know. says the, their last name. The, 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 the Boonies. You can't really tell what you're doing. So. You recorded these, right? Uh-huh. Oh, this person was here in the year 81. Here. Um, oh, oh, yeah, that's good. All right, let's see. Let's get lost, bro. I'm not. Oh, no, those are a certain kind of bird. I forget what Oh, those are a bird? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I don't know what this is, the the boons, whatever, but we have James, Ginny, Jenny, Nikki, Mash, Angeline, 1878. That's pretty cool. Here we go, look at this. It's the Oregon Wagon Train, 1889. Tex, Sarah, Wagon Master. This is the Wagon Master. We left Register Cliffs area heading towards Wyoming. 
On the way, the length of some of the trains out west really amazed us. Once we got to Sheridan, Wyoming, we headed up Route 14 into the Bighorn Mountains. It was quite a spectacle to see. We had previously been up this road once before years ago in our large motorhome towing our Suburban. This was a much easier drive this time. Once on the top of the Bighorn Mountains, we headed into Sibley Lake Campground since it was getting dark for the evening. Luckily, we got the last spot available since it was a first come, first serve campground. I don't remember seeing that golden spike tower. I don't know how we missed that. Oh, there's finally the end. Wow. We got to the Sibley Lake campground. We got the last first come first serve site. We're kind of in the middle of everybody else, but that's all right. It's nice and serene. So we're gonna set up now and then uh, figure out what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll cook dinner, go to the, there's a lake right up here. So here we are. To be on top of a mountain, Lovely. really could not tell you where. Bighorn. Bighorn. I think we're in Wyoming. Oh, good, good, good. We actually um, not seen a bighorn sheep yet at all. <laughs> well, we're kind of a little disappointing, but you know we're all here. Everyone's here. Madeline's in the car. Sophia's work, fake work, sensitive school, whatever. Low key missing out, but uh, Lucy's here. She has her raincoat on. It was. No, it's actually my. It was drizzling. Lucy coat. It was drizzling when we um. Actually, it's my good side. It was drizzling when we pulled in. And then Aunt Bella and her flips. And nice little campsite. Um, some trees for a hammock. You know, little bench. All that stuff. It's actually this was like one of the last sites. I think this might have actually been the last site. So yeah, guys, just um, we'll, we'll film you when we're setting. We'll film when we're setting up, and we will. time lapse. We'll film when we're setting up, and we'll actually film when we're making dinner, and then uh, we'll film, you know, before we before we go to bed. Here is a time lapse we took of us setting up our camp. This was the first night, however, remember, so we did get quicker as time went on, and we did stop, as you can see, to talk to some of the other campers in the campground. About this time on our trip, it was time for Annabella's stitches to come out from her recent mountain biking injury. So we had a little impromptu medical clinic at the campsite. Get close up. Okay. I guess an Elmer's water your arm now. How do you feel? Mark, the stitches still be in there, bro. Do you feel new? No, uh huh? Do you feel new and approved? Well, no. two good steaks, I don't, don't feel any different. Oh, your face looks kind of weird on camera. Well, let's go give a tour of the tent. Look, you can literally see my widgets and where they were. 
Mm, I'm going to go in the tent. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. Let's go. We're trying to not, like, you gotta push This is the kid tent. This is where Joey will be sleeping. Um, I'm going to sleep down here. And then I'll just sleep up here. And then... This is the adult tent. So, mom and dad are going to sleep in the rooftop. Mom's going to sleep here. Dad's going to sleep there, I guess. Maddie's going to sleep on the hammock that they are setting up right now. So, yeah. I'll just make fun of him, bro. Oh, and um, we're gonna have Spanish rice with sausage and for I'm dinner. Ramen. Yeah, and both gonna have ramen. Timothy, not. Why are you recording here? Come record us putting the steaks in. Okay. You literally wasted the footage. Four hours. No. That'd be funny if it was. Call me freaking Steve. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> it's fine. Next day. Go fill something else. Oh, okay. This is Dad. I'm not sure we can see. You see the widgets of where they were. Yeah, that'll go away. Oh, Dad's just getting dinner ready. Yeah. And mom, what are you doing? I got my fancy salad. Let's go find a bowl. Yep. Okay. Did you find it, hon? On a mission. The um gallon bags? They are in there, yeah. Where is my bowl? Oh, here's my bowl. Oh yes, yeah, a salad bowl. And we have a little pot for in the jellies. I can trail my mom gotta go to the lake. Lake's over there. Over there. We'll get a closer view. Let me get a little bit closer. Madeline, say hi. Madeline. Wait up. I'm actually not trying to fall. Just walking. Pretty steep trail. We're on, um... I don't know. We went up somewhere. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, we don't... This is a family-friendly channel. Oh, damn. <laughs> go down here. Alright, here's the lake. Alright, it's kind of boring lake. Um, so here's a little sign. Water crack must be transported into wild yep. home. Must and be inspected for Here we go, guys. Call 1 877. Okay, yep. WGFD Zoom. AIS or 877 943 3247 for inspection information. <laughs> Alright, so over here. Protect your waters. Nice little you can stop view. the spread of invasive species. Um, or you boat a fish. Follow these simple rules. <laughs> yes, guys. We're going to be this time. Obviously, we're going to be following the precautions. Um, you know. Pretty nice lake. Not that big, but no animals. A little nice chart that you can go sit there in the morning if you want. Oh, there's a trail all the way around. Yeah, the trail goes all the way around. Let's People. go around. I'm not going around, honey. Got places oh, to be, things not? to do. Alright, here we're just walking back up the trail. We're starting to run out of food and such. But it's kind of low-key a bit of a hike up the trail. Aunt Teresa says we ought to find some more water. Or soon we're going to be drowning like the Worth the view, worth the view. Well... I gotta sign off. Bye, Mama. Talk to you later. Bubba Sis, 1987. All right, here we are. We're still at first night at in Veritas at the Shelby Lake Campground. We got a nice fire going. On. We have a tent and a hammock. We've already been playing cards. We got a rooftop tent set up. 
my trailer's working good. I'm charging a phone, another phone, and an iPad. I got the hot water heater to wash dishes over here. My wife just made some tea. Over here we got Madeline's already taking a nap <laughs> and is probably back to sleep already. Yep. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Good night. Mm -hmm. okay. What's going on in here? Oh, we have a hairdresser shop in here. Kelly's teaching me how to spend my points on yeah, how getting rid of you right. We have bunk beds going on here. Annabelle got her stitches out today. Let's see. Put a little uh, dermal He's bond got a on. No Looks pretty good. Out. These guys are oh, yeah, here learning good. about rummy. Yeah. Okay. So you just... up there. You and you, everybody else was in the motor in the suburban with mom. Sophia was sitting up front with me. Because we were heading up to go get the thing looked at to get it fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while we were up there getting it fixed, we drove over to uh, this family fun center. Oh, that's oh, right. Oh my, I remember, do, that. Do you remember that. while we were waiting. Yeah. For the uh -huh, we did, a, we, did we go go kart racing? Yeah. I like, yeah. We go karts in there. Yeah. Yep. Oh my God. I remember. See, there all comes back. This is oh. where we're gonna. We're not gonna be up there though. We could though. up Joe. Yeah, it's because we're right now. That's pretty funny. What it pop? It's not going to pop. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. We have a Dorito explosion. Alright, here we are first morning. This is zombie apocalypse morning. mode here. It's not that <laughs> we'll be better. Cold. We'll be better. It's not that cold. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. 40, 42 degrees. It's how much? 42.2. Joe, how's your first night? A little chilly. Uh, my neck hurts because my pillow is like flat. And if you put your head on it too much, it just slides out from under you because the air pushes it away. So I have to keep grabbing it in the middle of the night. And it's just, it's not good. So would you recommend an air pillow I would for not, camping? No. Well, if you get it like really under your head, like your head's like above it, like you're trapping it, then it's okay. So like an airplane pillow? Yeah, it's not good though. Okay. I would not recommend it. Mom. First night, good oh hammock, hammock camping, a little cold. Six o'clock, so. Yeah, I'm out with the bed at 6 p.m. <laughs> and Bill, how was your night? Bad. Okay. It stopped moving. Sounds like it was a successful first time. Yeah, sounds great. Oh. Is gonna make cinnamon bun. And did you guys stretch it out at all, or like flatten it, or you just threw it in? I used to. I'm moving okay. around. No, we're learning. We're learning. Yeah. Cinnamon bun on the fire. He's gonna cook it way too fast. It's gonna burn. Are you up. being sure? Hey, if you put that grate over, you Yo, can just Lucy, set. Dude, you, you could probably just set it on top. It's not working. Hold it. Okay, I'll hold it. Like yeah, you could probably just set it on. Let's see. Sorry. Like get some heat like over here without the flames. Is that even cooking it? It. You can't cook you it. Like, even cook it. <laughs> okay, you do your own first one. Feel the body. Here's my cinnamon buns. Just started. Let's see. Open it. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, we're just putting. Okay, you didn't put it in yet. We're just doing the butter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let it warm. Let it cast iron. It's got to heat up. All right, we're at Burgess Junction off Route 15 in the Bighorns. We're gonna eat lunch here. It's at the end of this little road. North Tongue River is right here. There's a couple little picnic spots. How about that for a Quigley ad, huh? Well, this water is moving. All 
All right, we're still at Burgess eating lunch. There's Annabelle in the shade. Lucy's in the sun doing a book. Joey and Lisa are putting chairs together. I'm over here grilling some hot Italian sausage on the firebox stove. I brought some hard good charcoal, but look, it's all over. This charcoal here is really dry. It's perfect. So. Joey's having, what are you having for lunch, Joe? A chicken fajita bowl. Oh, yeah. He's eating in style. Let's see how these. I didn't think I had a spatula with me, and then when I bought the firebox, I got this, so. I just don't want to dump this. No, let me take the chair up down there. No. Oh, look, it's cooking nice. Like One more. Cooking this with the hardwood charcoal is the way to go. For sure. Alright, keep an eye on how it's going. A beautiful day. Look at the clouds. Sky. Dad? Yeah. Should I go on the winter top of the weather? Oh, yeah, guys. Uh, that's not gross. I used to do it all the time. Okay, here we are on a road, forest road, somewhere in Wyoming, Bighorn National Forest. The kids want to go all the way up to where this, I don't know, tower is. So we'll see. We'll see what we see. It's beautiful. Windy. Snow out there. Nice to see snow in July. Mm-hmm. It's not Joey. Oh, moose poop, guys. Some sort of turd. It could be moose. I'm sure. Go ahead. Yeah, they're all Those are more clear though. Looking for elk. Well, we see them. Far, sure. see. far away. Just blow that little sliver. No way your camera's catching you see? Oh, it's going to catch them. I'm zooming, man. There's a little sliver patch of snow out there. Right below there is approximately 200 elk. Approximately. Maybe 30. I'm zooming. I continue to zoom. Can you see them? Oh, yeah. They're coming in quite clear. Somewhere in there. I'm on Zoom 24 times, so it's very stable. <laughs> <laughs> Still video. Maybe, maybe when we get home, we'll see them. Oh, I got more zoomage. Holy moly. Well, I'm really zoomed. All right. Okay, max zoomage. Both of them in the middle. Uh huh. It's pretty clear. Why did I lose focus? They're getting ready, man. You gotta roll down the hill. <laughs> oh, I got him on video, Joe. I see him on my camera. Joe, you have to sit down and stabilize. I got phenomenal stabilization. You cannot do it that far away. Nerd. Well, he can. Oh, my stuff's not even moving when I look at it. It's like perfect.
The next day we packed up camp heading further down the road and ended up at Thai Flume Campground. This was a lovely campground. There was a stream right next to the campsite so the kids can go down do some fishing and exploring while we did other camp activities. We stayed there for several nights while we continued to explore the bighorns. So guys, we found a moose in the deer, actually. Um, it's really cool because we have a little camera because we said I'm just running out because I don't But oh, he left. I don't know if you can get him. Um, if I can get him. I'll play with you. I'll see if I can. How do I zoom in? Oh my god, that's you. How do I zoom in? Alright, Joey, it's your turn. May the world with macaroni so I took a bite out of a tree. Do you have a queen of diamonds? Do you have a queen? Yo, do you have a queen? Do you have a queen? Do you have a queen? Stop bending the card, bro. What? Do you have a queen? No. Yep, I know you do. No, I don't. I'll look. I know, she has a two of spades. I know, she has a two of spades. Oh, two. I don't have you that. can't get it though. Because I don't, it's the official I don't, rule book. I don't need it. Okay, My whose turn. turn is it? Um, Joey, do you have three? Why are you guys no. just doing it? Why? Well, I literally showed you my cards. Are, are, <laughs> you, are you two playing? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it doesn't seem like you have any turns. I think it's Lucy. <laughs> no, they do have Lucy turns. Lucy just looked at my cards <laughs> and picked whatever she wanted. So why have you chosen? I'm not, but we're totally this way. <laughs> you I won. It looks like it's back and forth. <laughs> Joey and Annabella <laughs> have their private game. Joey? Yes. Give me an eight. What? He doesn't have an eight. I don't have an eight, honey. <laughs> Go fish. He's like an ace, king, jack, yeah. queen, something like that. That's cheating. It's just a robot. Oh, she's an ace? Ooh. Oh, bat Loki. Oh, I need that. Joey, give me an that. ace. I'll give you a hug. No, it's not how the game works. You don't works. have an ace. Joey, he has an ace. No, I don't. Are you being for real? Alright, your turn. Oh, you can deal again. Normally I would, but we're not going to do this late. Um... Yeah, have a jack. No. That's not true, bro. That it is, true. is. We'll be scamming. Oh! Don't worry, Mom, you got me for Let's go. Okay, it's my turn. Mom, do you have a three? No. Oh! You need to go through. Trap.
Hang on. All right, this is how you reheat cinnamon buns <coughs> over an open fire. A little cast iron skillet. We got Chef Lucy here. Now tell us about what you're making today, Chef Lucy. Uh, I'm making reheated cinnamon buns. Oh, good, good guy. I like that. Good call. And who's your customer today? Here. Not me. He's like I'm a not having those. I have an oatmeal, so. Well, you know, you need you need a critiquer. Yeah. You need someone to keep you honest. For real. So. All right, here's our two great chefs for the morning. I see, bro. What's the matter? Can't see. Oh, I think it's a little high to get the pepper. Pepper from heaven. <laughs> oh, we have a little hash browns and sausage mixed together over the fire. Malin will help all the time as long as it's from a chair. This is like a Frosted Flakes commercial. Here we go. And Bella's Breakfast is champion, right? Mm-hmm. And Bella had a good night last night, right? Good I heard. All I had to do was fix the zipper and sleeping bag. Who knew? Well, I think two button and her. No, yeah, Joey to told me to do that by yeah, myself. Was, why is it? Why is it bites from a big rug? I like that. Mom, do you have any idea where we're going today? Well, I'm gonna. I got a lot of ideas. Oh, hey, you're videoing me. Awesome as I'm cleaning, so that's fabulous. No, this is too um, <laughs> We don't need this all documented, but I was thinking about maybe, where was I thinking? I kind of want to go to the, 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 store. the Bucking Mule. Oh, Bucking Falls. Mule Falls. Okay, but yeah. as long as it's not too long. Of a hike. No, it's not too long. No, it's not barely a hike Four or five miles. Yeah, it'll be fine. Awesome. <laughs> that's right. not barely a I'm hike. Keep on washing up. Okay, is this I'm water still like warm? Because I need to wash my face. I don't know. I use the tap water. I want to use water. Okay. Are I'll you probably just put some more water in there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go do my face stuff. And then I think that is all for now. So, me and Lucy and Mom are going to pump water. And yeah, you have to pump it from this thing. Um, okay, ready? So, you get your whole body in there. It has to get started first. That's what I heard. That's what I was told. Then it won't start coming out. I think it's gonna start coming out soon. Oh, I like it when Lucy yeah, pumps. Lucy's got the right, not too much harder, Lucy. Nice and steady. Steady. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, nice and smooth. Oh, oh Lucy's a... She, oh, Lucy's... Get her pumping. Get her, back up. Because really, back up. Lock that up. This is the jingle. Look at whole body into it, Lucy. Lucy has to. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Did you get this? Nice, Luce. Yeah. There's a mosquito on your face. Not anymore. Keep going. And she's able to comment on other people as she's pumping. I like that. Oh, Lucy, you're the pro with this because you don't pump too hard. Because I can't pump too hard. That's right. You're Is doing that good? Awesome. A little more? Yeah, a little bit more. Sorry, yeah. I'm pumping. All right. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Because yours will reset, and we don't want that. We do not want it to reset. Mm -hmm. Dad, you can go a little harder because he's wide. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, settle down, settle down. Settle down. Okay, settle okay keep going. Ah, that happened. We'll go back to wimpiness. Like, yeah, there you go. Oh, whoa, whoa. A little, little more pressure. Nice. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we're just pumping some water. You want to No. Workout. It is a work, whole body workout. I think one more pump, Luz. Oh, God. Oh, Actually, see. one more. One more. Maybe or two more. Cat rate, I'm not sure. Yeah, try this side. This arm's uh, getting tired. 
Okay, yeah, it has to awesome. reset. <laughs> oh no! I know, you're losing me. If you don't do it for long enough, you'll have to reset. Perfectly, yay! Good job, Luz. Oh, that hurts. Who would have thought? But she okay. could do it. GoPro, stop ah. recording. Next, we headed to Porcupine Falls Trailhead to do some hiking. This was a very steep downhill hike, starting at 8,500 feet elevation to a beautiful waterfall. The problem was we had to hike back up. The elevation gain was about 450 feet over 0 0.4 miles. Certainly was difficult for some of the kids who were not in that great a shape. However, it was a beautiful hike and a good way to spend part of the day. This is Porcupine Falls Trail. What would you have? Oh, put it here. Put it around. Am I the only one on Here comes Annabelle. Yeah. It's too steep. I'm going to fall if I don't. This does the lobster crawl. So, it just started to level out, and we have all of these steps. All right, Porcupine Falls. There's Mom. got down further and um it is beautiful one of the problems i had with the bighorn mountains was you can boondock anywhere and a lot of the locals bring their campers up and leave them you're supposed to move them every two weeks however clearly some of these campers have been in the same spot for years it really destroys the view of the landscape Tuesday, July 7th, second night at Thai Flats Campground. The other hammock is in in the hammock bag. Watch those fly rods. So we, tonight, we're running out of food because we haven't been to a store in about a week, which I'm kind of happy about. We're using stuff that we haven't used in a long time, and today we ate stuff that had expiration dates that weren't even close. But we have these bins in the trains that we've been going through. So for dinner, I have some ground beef. We're going to make hamburgers. I found one pack of uh, this rice sides and one basmati rice individual thing. It was expired May 20th, which isn't too bad. I don't know what the date on this is. Supposed to fuse by September. 0121. Oh, that's perfect. And then we have three hot dog buns. So not everybody gets hamburger buns. Some people are going to have to eat them without hamburgers. And my charcoal I'm using is a year old. And I can't seem to get it lit. But we're having fun. Tomorrow we're going to head into a out of here and go somewhere else. So at least we're using up stuff. So 
should be good. Process. Are you okay? He's processing. What the hell is that sound? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Any reaction from the moose? Any reaction? Who's <laughs> looking? Oh jeez. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Wait, was that? I probably get doesn't come charging over here. And the end result of my expert moose calling is evident here. Back at the campsite, looks like we got rained here a little bit. See how we all fared. But thunder's rolling in. Kids are running, quick peeing. The Camaro boys are leaving. Do you know what? I thought the one didn't lock good. Did it not lock? Oh, it locked. I just didn't lock it. I didn't know you could come in. I You locked it. The thunder. Now I'm trying to tell Maddie to lock your we should put games in the tent. Well, go quick, grab them. Are we all going to stay in the tent? Well, I don't... All right, another beautiful morning in the Big Horns. Mm -hmm. Slept good, yeah. July 8th. Check this out. That's our water bucket out last night. Got some water in it. It's all ice. July 8th. Froze overnight. I can only wait to hear what the kids have to say this morning about this lovely adventure. Warms up quick though, so I'm not too worried. So here we are, here's Madeline. She's making banana oatmeal. I think. I'm, I'm making cereal. brown cinnamon sugar right here. And I already had some sugar. With the jet boil on a plate. This plate is a superior Keep bowl. Keep in my pocket. Um, there's Lucy. Joe, you're not making oatmeal on a plate. Yes, I am. Ugh. Better believe I am. <laughs> it's actually really smart. Because oh, no, then it cools down quicker. Yeah, but if you don't... When you first make it, you don't want to cool down. Okay, I tried to go in my pocket. What's wrong? She's mad that I'm making oatmeal on a plate, which is super smart, but... And then... Yeah. Yeah, well, is there any good bowls? Grab those metals. One of the unsung the benefits of shower. traveling with a teenage boy is he's, he's sort of the master of ceremonies and can comment so miraculously hair, about everything. Only sometimes, though, right? You only brush your hair ever sometimes. Uh, yeah. Is it too hot to lose? Um, I, know, I know it's hot. It's as, low, it's as unhot as it gets, though. What? We're going to name this Girls Have a Spa Day. <laughs> For real. Girls Day at the Spa. How are we going to wash it? No, it's not as low as it goes. Oh. It's as high as it goes. Mom's well, trying to burn everybody. I'm not that high. Now it's as low as it goes. I probably am going to want you to... I probably want cold water. It's not going on the body. My body will feel it. Yeah, I know, but... Of course, you are washing your hair. No, but when I do hair loose, I'm not going to want you to... You're supposed to take a cold shower every morning. It wakes you up more. 
That's what I do. Everyone, I have to get cold shower. Right there. It's gonna be all wet, bro. It's gonna be useless. Look at those thunder, bro. Now we're packing up camp here. We're gonna go hopefully shopping. Get some food. We need some stuff for the fridge. Oh. Well, she thinks. She... Well, she thinks she uh, is needs like face cleaning stuff too. I don't know why. Lucy, please just stop. Just don't ever do that again. I'm cutting it out of the video. Good enough, Lucy. I'm cutting that out of the video. He's balding. Maybe uh, like never. But there's no, it is. I can cook like a French fry in your hair, bro. I literally can cook a French fry in your hair. The what? Here, who's gonna wrench me? I guess I have to. Is this not your hair? No. Where's your gun? I don't have much hair. No. Yeah, you kind of lost it all, I think. No, that's a lot. Yeah, that's where you got me. It looks like it's not. Not wash my hair. It's beautiful. Yo, what do you think about my hair, guys? Just in the comment section below. Just, you know, rate it on the 10. I know it's definitely gonna be a 10, realistically. But. Everyone's washing up here, except Annabella, because apparently her hair is good. Bro, that ain't face wash, Oh dear God! I'll help you out, man. Oh, he's washing his whole body. Yeah. No. no. But you can't wash your own hair? Well, I, I was gonna have my mom, you know, just this. Like, okay. Keep going. Down the front. Get your beard. Get your beard. I don't want to move it. It's getting all wet. Alright. Good. Wow. Mm. Oh, your perfect. Hair. Let me give you the surgical. It's perfect. It is perfect. Oh, that's why we have so many little towels. Yeah, surgical scrub. Don't I chuck them? I hope. Yeah, we throw them Don't you have those in your shop? Yeah, where are you I thought you I thought those were like the shop store, bro. Yeah, I, was I thought they were meant <laughs> for like shop. Same. Not this what we're using the operating room. Oh. Alright. Is it getting kinda of peely? Peel it off. Okay. What the heck happened? Just get it straight off. Yeah. Let's take a look at Annabelle's bruise. It's it's actually fake. It's not even that bad. Just peel it off, bro. I don't know if I'm allowed. Well, it's not you do it, it's just hanging there. It's not doing nothing. Can I? Well, you know what? Maybe not the whole thing. Just pull off what you could. Pull off a little bit, little pieces. Yeah. That looks nice. Does it? Let me look. Show the camera. There's Annabella with her fake bruise. There's her eyeball. And Lucy's trying to dry her hair like a casual. All right, guys. We will uh, update you when we get to the next campground or the store, really. Yeah. I don't know. Parking lot. But yeah. Heading out of the Bighorn Mountains to the west, we took Route 14 down the mountain. Rather nice curvy roads would be fun on a motorcycle. We headed into Grey Bull, Wyoming to restock for some much needed supplies and continue our trip.
about what was that? And then you come out. Bro, we're gonna get like a VPN and change like our server to like Canada just so we can watch Gypsy people. Joey, they have it. TLC has it in America. Oh really? Yeah, I just don't know what channel TLC has so many good shows. I don't you know. Never saw like dueling you. dueling a hammocks like this. Oh Annabelle, you have, don't forget you're still eating your your oatmeal. Annabelle's eating oatmeal. Yeah, she loves it so much. <laughs> she likes it better when it's she cold. She wants it every morning from now on. <laughs> she Come likes on, it show how much you like it. Have a little. Why did you see a double, not a triple? Oh, what equal to one? You see a double, not a triple. This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it says it's only a mile. It always seems longer, though. But oh, we'll keep going. We're now going around the bend. Nice. So Madeline's plan is to watch the sunrise. Oh, here, point 0.15. Where are we? Medicine Lodge, archaeological site, campground. Very nice. But the cool thing is, we're right on a stream. So here we are starting the road Red to line. go see Dallas for tracks. Here's the view. That's the road we're taking.
So um, we're here at, where are we? Red Gulch Dinosaur Track Site. We're at the Red Gulch Dinosaur Track Site. We're looking for dinosaur tracks. Mm -hmm. oh, dang it, it's further walk than I thought. I just kind of thought they'd be right here, to be honest. Otherwise, I would have brought my backpack. Um, so, yeah, maybe we'll see some rattlesnakes or something. The drive was um, long. very, it was pretty long. How long do you think it took us? Like an hour? Sundance C. That's what I guess it used to be. Yeah, it was pretty long. And um, it was really bumpy. Mm -hmm. I thought we were going to flip over at some point. Get out of here. It wasn't that bumpy. Um, mm, sometimes. At some point it was. So I guess when we get to the tracks, we'll update. Okay, so here we are at the most underwhelmed place I've ever been in my entire existence. That's apparently a dinosaur track. I could make that, but... I think we're at Gulch place. Red Gulch. Red Gulch. If that's a dinosaur, then all these tracks are dinosaurs. Yeah, there was a lot on here. They walked all um, on the beach. I definitely see a dinosaur looked out before, but that Mal's on her phone. Yep. Of course he's I am. Doing nothing. No. Yeah, bro, this been service this whole there. way, bro. I've been right gaming here. the whole time, bro. Dinosaur type so this is really. Oh, God, I'm a loser. Oh, I think you're right. Maybe. It's really just underwhelming. I would not recommend this to anyone. We will see. We will see. Yeah. And also, um, do you know like where we're going tomorrow? We're going to that um, Bo Bo Bozen State Lake Park. Bozen, Bozen State, State Lake Park. Past Thermopolis in Wyoming. Yeah, I haven't heard of any of those. Well, actually, I've heard you talk about Thermopolis. <laughs> They're not the list. Dinosaurs. There's a, a dinosaur. Oh. Yeah, center. we saw the dinosaurs. I think Joey vlogged a little. About um, how awesome I've the tracks were. Um, you really? They kind of just look like giant leaves. We're gonna go to Hot Springs State Park, when? where they have hot springs tomorrow. Oh, yes. And maybe even get a shower. Even better. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think the hot springs are better. For sure. They're natural. I hope. I guess we'll find out. sandwich to the size of the bread so look use an english muffin that's how big are all my sandwich like that so i'll make it as big as the thing then get your butter if you don't have a knife on you just use the end of the spatula like all right that's good and see you really don't need butter the whole way around the pan just because this is a pretty big pan and i'm not going to use the whole pan I mean, you could spread it all around if you're a little dry house. And then, yeah, move it a little bit, you know? Alright, this is the most important step, Lucy. You have to put your eggs in when there's a little bit of butter left. See that? Yeah. But that's where you put your eggs in. Alright. 
now you turn it up till that much like medium low medium low you turn up to yeah i think that's probably medium low what i have them right now and you just wait it's kind of an annoying noise but once it starts clips it'll be better <clears throat> Then while that's cooking, you get your stuff ready. So, your English muffin out. I'm probably not gonna toast it realistically. Then we gotta break this apart. I think you can just use a, your hand. Normally I use a fork. I think you're supposed to use a fork, yeah. Check out the eggs. So that's kind of cooking a little bit way too close. We're gonna turn that down. Oh, so it's too high? That's cooking too quick. I thought it was on medium low. What's below medium low? Yeah, well if it cooks too quick, then you gotta turn it down. Like you're not just gonna leave it over cooking like what? And so you just open up your English muffin. Just like this. Perfect. See, that actually is usually better than what actually turns out. Yeah. I'm actually surprised it looks like that. These are, um... chunks, but that's not too surprising. These are off-brand, that's why. And see, my stuff almost stuck here because we can figure the pan. Dude, that was almost terrible. And I'm gonna turn it back up now that I'm ending it. And I'm gonna start making the middle pile, you know? Once that solidifies, it'll be more usable. Now I wait. It takes probably about if you have all the proper stuff, probably like seven minutes you can make this in. Yeah, probably seven minutes. Probably because I do it without. But here it probably takes about ten minutes. Oh my goodness. It's getting all the proper stuff. And you want to make sure it's chopped up. This is actually where a lot of beginners make their mistake. You want to chop them up. Oh, I'm on my Wi Fi again. You want to chop it up, but you want to keep them close together. That way, if you just chop it up, look at that. That's not close. That's not as big as your sample. That's true. Then you're going to move them all to the middle. Why? That way, that's where the most heat is. Heat up, because the middle's already pretty much cooked. And just like that. So you could leave it there just to cook, but then only the bottom will cook, so I just keep moving it. And that's about, see, if I got this on top, that's really about the biggest one your sandwich should be. And keep chopping it. Cool. Then when you think it's done, you... See, I don't really know what the heat's at, so that's like probably medium low. You said you that you turned it down. down. That's up. So we're gonna turn it down. Then you just fold it all in the middle. You just gotta make it as big as your sandwich. That's pretty much good. Then you just let that cook. Okay. <laughs> like just the one side? Well, it'll all cook. It's like, it's pretty much done. Mm -hmm. See, now if we had an actual lid, it would be even more better. Why? There's a lid somewhere. The actual one. Because then put the top. Look, too. look by the on pan back there where I washed them. Oh, okay. Probably on the Oh, yes, it is, I think. All right, so this is the most important. So you get the lid. This is, I'm already a little late. Then you turn it down, completely off. Completely off. off. Completely if off. If you want a real tryhard, you can put the ham on with the cheese. But that's only if you have everything ideal. This is a beyond ideal. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let that cook. And then when I take that out, it'll be perfectly done. Okay. okay. Get your ham. See, this is actually the perfect size ham, bro. This is the best kind of ham you can get for this. Right here. Um, Black Forest ham, straight from the deli. Because they cut it small. Well, I think that Black Forest, too, is just... It's a nice ham. You know what I mean? It's not like fresh food. It's good. It's a whole thing. 
And then look, you put one slice and two if you're feeling extra protein. Why would you put one slice and then one slice? Because then that's another huge mistake. Oh. Then you'll forget which side the top is. And if you forget where the top is, bro, you don't want to be eating your sandwich upside down. Well, can't you just look? No. Dude, once the eggs are on the spatula, bro, it's it's fair game. They could fall off any minute. So that's why you just, you know. And the, the both have pieces of ham will heat up with time. How much time do you need uh, to give not it? Not much. Literally zero, bro. Put it on and you can just eat. Because it's cool. It? Because, Lucy, you actually want one of these? I can make you one. No, I'm fine. I already had some oatmeal. Yeah, banana walnut. It was actually maple yeah. and brown sugar, the last two packets. Actually, here's a cool story. So we had these banana muffins that we threw away the other night, and no one ate them. And then the raccoons actually ate them last night. So they got some use. <laughs> well, I guess while we're waiting, I'll go show you the raccoons. Wait, I'm, I'm going to show the raccoons. What? You want them all the cheese is cooking. You can't really overcook cheese. So you're just gonna put your stuff away. Okay. Get in the right there. Okay. This is where the raccoon ate them. Took the lid off and ate them. So now I guess we should probably be checking back on the eggs. Back to Joe. I don't know, they have these moldy ass bananas, but let's put the butter right. <clears throat> I'll make sure it's closed. Steep it in right there. Close the fridge up. Alright. Then you come out. And it really should, the cheese should be done by now. Not, and you just turn the heat up to low. What if it's burnt? Wait, dude, I'm so confused. You keep saying, like, turn it up to low, but what's it on now? What's below low? It's on off. Oh. Not off right Forgot about that. That's pretty much what you're looking for, Joe. That's perfect. The cheese melted around the whole thing. That's perfect. Well, it does actually look pretty, pretty good. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, see, now I don't have to. Take my time. Oh, that, I don't want the sandwich to get cold, so I know I know where I'm putting it, right? I know. And see, really, if you want to be extra, just do this. If you don't want any ham hanging off, fold it like that. But there's still ham hanging off. Not as much. Then get your sandwich. Your spatula should be able to handle it and just shimmy it off. It'll come off eventually. And there you go. And you just, you really, you're probably, probably supposed to cook the bun. I mean, I could right now, just, just toasting it. It's not, this is not ideal though. And that's your uh, egg Nick muffin at home. Is that I can call it. Mm. And you can let that cool while you clean it up. Okay. Continuing our way west, in Kirby, Wyoming, we ran across business called Wyoming Whiskey, which necessitated a stop and some tastings. Oh. Next up was Hot Springs State right, Park, which was, house. according to Madeline, what? yet another Madeline, disappointment. please stop skipping. Where are the springs? Oh my gosh. It's hot. They close at 1. <laughs> Alright, we'll see what else happens. Here we go where the springs come from. Oh guys, it's like that, what was it, Mammoth? What were the springs at Yellowstone? Remember they were so pretty and it all, it all dripped over everywhere, it was really cool. Hi. I think it was Mammoth Spring. at Hot Springs State Park. Here's the swinging bridge, which is kind of 
kind of cool, I think. I'm not on it yet. The kids are. And it goes over the Bighorn River. Oh, wow. Check this out. Ugh. Oh, I thought you meant like. Oh. Well, there's hmm. someone swimming down there. Oh, we can go swimming there and get back. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it smells better than the mineral springs. No, it's coming in from right there, bro. Oh, it all mends and gets into one. Huh? After the hot springs, we went to the Wyoming Dinosaur Center, which was pretty cool. Pretty However, cool. not free to get in. Just if anybody wants to know for future Very reference, nice. and it was really not super cheap either. Continuing west, our initial plan was to stay at Boyson State Park in Wind Canyon by a reservoir. However, it was extremely windy and we ditched this plan continuing west. In Riverton, I was able to find some jet boil fuel and we made our way into Lander, Wyoming. In Lander, I found a locksmith to finally open the trailer lock, which I had lost the key of. And we stayed at a Holiday Inn Express. Lisa and I had dinner at a cool restaurant called Cowfish. In Lander, it was a pretty neat town, which we should go back at some point and spend some more time in because there was actually a county park where you can stay for free, and we drove through this. There was quite a collection of different types of people in this location. Also, while exploring Lander, we explored the rise and fall of the Popo Aji River, which you can see where the river goes underground and then comes back up further down the road. Leaving Lander and continuing our, making our way home, we entered South Pass City, which is an old ghost mining town we explored. After this, we continued on to go towards Flaming Gorge. In Utah, we ended up in Vernal, Utah, staying for the night at a rather sketchy hotel. The next day, Joe and I went fishing up at Flaming Gorge with Big Johnny as our guide, while the girls went to the Utah Fieldhouse Museum and explored. We met back up later that evening and switched hotels to stay another night in Vernal, all right, so the next day I we can all go there, rafting down the Flaming Gorge. It's just a hen instead of a buck there. Thank ya! I don't want to lick trout. I like to kiss them. Eh, he ain't big enough for a smooch. What's he want? I'm bigger than that. Well, I'm sorry. You want to take a picture? Yeah. Any hooks on? No, it's a hen. Uh, yeah, doesn't count. Do you want a picture? Yeah, I get better get one. <laughs> it's big. It's got blue spots on the Ah, fall size. Different coloration. Yes? I know, one third. Okay. I like to leave them in the net when the water tends to get warmer. Yeah. Make sure they're happy with more sun. Yeah. That's a good job, Joe. Yeah. Man, you're not, you might, you might be caught up to me. Oh, I don't know. Joe, like not a bad lunch spot, huh? Oh, no. Just hanging out for lunch. Pretty cool.
with Johnny. So when we come back in a year. Oh yeah. This is the A section. Alright, so here we are. Oh, she just took into the water. From, I don't know. Yeah, on the Green the River. Seeds, These are paddling really <laughs> awesome. Lucy, I mean, you paddle. Dad is no, the means you guys paddle. captain. Lucy oh, has no control. Guys. Keep going, Luce. Guys, we're in the flow. Stop paddling. Oh. We're in the flow, man. I guess that's pretty good. It's like an owl. Just your head's turning around. Oh, that's good. Okay, slow it down. Well, that was good. All right, looking around for. All right, oh, like, yep, are good. Oh, okay. Well, when I start to paddle, we don't have to. Right, so oh, like Picture in here. Right, a couple good paddles. Yep. Oh, she's angry now. You're underestimating her. Is that enough? No, I said a, a couple's like a, war. a couple's only two. Are you guys like competing? Uh, I, 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 whoa, whoa, left is stronger. Left is stronger. Here comes the right. Hands, like I said. Oh, Here comes the right. Oh, left is going again. It's a 1v2. Right for the rock. We're headed right for this big rock. Come on, Joe. Straight in, pull. Pull and push. Pull and push. Let's go. Pull, oh, Joe's winning. No. Right side is winning. We are it. going sideways now. Oh, now we're backwards. You can go backwards and we're in this pool. Wow. Uh, well, I'm going to have to give that round to, to me. Right and I was at, I had a handicap. No, right side. I had a handicap. No. I had a handicap. Joey literally has done nothing this whole time. He just hit Right my side. Yeah. That's all he does, Joey. You need to Lucy, that guy, everyone watch this. This is how Lucy paddles. So let's say this is water here. She goes in the water and she leaves in here for like five seconds, just out of the water. Just no, leaves I her. do this. Just Matt knows her. how I do it. She just leaves it right there. And then leave it there. Leave. Not that. That doesn't move. Her whole power turns around. Guys, I someone jump in with me. Oh, that's a good spot. Go ahead, Malin. You'll cool off. Go in, Malin. It'll be minutes. so quirky. In five minutes, you'll be cooled off. Oh, you, oh, we can pull her in. No, people just use the paddle as like a bar and they just pull each other up. Yeah, go up now. People do it all the time. Take your vest. Someone off. did the other day. Couldn't get back in, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. He's a fat guy. <laughs> that was skinny, bro. He was like Lucy. Uh, why are you taking your vest off? Uh, what that told me to? You're gonna drown. Oh, you can. Okay. Oh all right. Well, let's, get the vest listen off. to your mother. We're out of the back. We're out of. The, we gotta go back. Mom's gotta paddle the way. We're not in very deep water. Someone come in with me. Oh, this is pretty deep. Lucy, right come on. Lucy, yeah, really get the two uh, weaklings out of here. <laughs> just go over backwards. Do a backwards. Yeah, do a backflip. Do a backflip. I feel like, should I take off my sh... Come on, go away. Bye-bye. All right, everyone, run, run, run. Let's run, 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 run. <laughs> you have hypothermia? Yeah. She's moving. No. She can't move. Pull her in. Go Grab up. on. <laughs> Grab <laughs> on. No, he got it. Wait, now Come on. <laughs> oh, Joe almost went in. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> no, hold on, Timothy. Yeah, he grab it. Grab. I knew that he grabbed it. Now, put your foot on that rope on the outside. <gasps> try and get your toes on that. <laughs> Come on, Timothy. Bite it. I got Don't you. Don't give up it. now. Grab it. Grab it. No, just come in the front. You just scale the front. Hold on to the Here, rope. Wait, wait, how is that really easier? Go. She can just come up front with the rope, bro. Okay. She went to firefight school. There. Oh, bro, oh. you are a casual. I don't want you to pull me in. <laughs> Not the 
Grab the rope! Oh my god! <laughs> this should not be this hard. Wait, do you okay. have a board? We struggle. Hang on, hang on. She's okay. gonna get more tired. Nine. Oh my gosh, you're stressing her out. She's gonna, she's gonna die. Grab it, Maddie! Gotta grab the rope! Get the rope! No! Get the rope! <laughs> get the rope! <laughs> Okay, I got you now. Get the rope! Joe, this happen with the kid yesterday? Yeah, you gotta get him. And like five people get him in. <laughs> Woo! There we well, go. that was smooth. All right, good job, yeah, maybe Madeline. Someone was over <laughs> hey, you know what? I think I just got the next viral video on YouTube. <laughs> no. I think I All right, Lucy, that. your turn. Oh, I'm sure you did, right? How is it nice and cool, though, huh? Yeah. Lucy, it'd be easier for you to go in because you're like 18,000 pounds lighter. No, it's cold. I can you even hype a Leaving Flaming Gorge, we continued to head east on our way home. We decided to spend some time in Steamboat Springs. On the way there, we actually stopped at yet another dinosaur place my wife found. Leaving Steamboat Springs, we continued back into Wyoming to head up to Nebraska to head home, and we were able to stop at the Lincoln Memorial along the way. <laughs> 